couple fans in the stands. River, river, river. Lake, lake, lake. Let's say a guy calls river. Oh. What do they do? You go to the sideline, you mark it down. You say, okay, when they say it river, they ran to the right. When they say it lake, they ran to the left. So, of course, players know, but the, the good players, the good coaches, cascade communication. Hey, 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 Jay Cut. Last time you call you call Lake, the corner actually came, so you can actually pull that and hit me. So let's tell our offensive coordinator, Jeremy Bates, what's happening, what we're seeing on the field, what we're feeling, so then he can actually adjust his play calling. Let's go Lake, Lake, Lake again, but pull it, hit me on the sideline. So this is not an uncommon thing in the NFL. It's about the players cascading communication to the coaches and the coaches listening to the players and making an adjustment in his play calling well Love and it. i <clears throat> pardon me i'm reminded of a clip uh famous clip for cam newton kevin wilds referenced it a couple weeks ago of i think they're playing the packers they're near the goal line yep. cam calls out a play clay matthews then says oh like calls out what he thinks the play is and you hear cam say yeah. oh you've been watching film watch this and it wasn't the play the Packers were expecting. It ended up being a Panthers touchdown. So it is a bit of, and Jenna, you'll like this, the Princess Bride. I know what you know that I know what you know. And so it's kind of the game of chess the that elevates right. throughout the yeah. game. But it did feel to me, Brandon, like this was Lamar, even if it was unintentionally, calling out a bit of the coaching, which you a couple weeks mm. ago after the Steelers game, I was pretty hard on Lamar. And you and I got into it a bit because you were saying it's Greg Roman, it's Greg Roman. And I didn't tell you this at the time because it would have hurt my case. But at this point, I must admit it. <laughs> During that argument, I got a text from someone who would absolutely know connected to the Ravens. And the text, I'm going to read it to you exactly. The offensive coordinator is running the damn wing T. They don't practice the pass game as much as they go over the running game. Greg Roman's time will come up sooner than later. It is Roman that is messing things up. So wow, great. you said that. <laughs> I then got a text that corroborated it, but I didn't tell you because it really kneecapped my argument, and now I'm coming clean. And now Lamar is saying everyone knows what we're doing. So it does seem like there is a need there, even if there's also a need for Lamar to play better because his numbers are down across the board from his MVP season. It does seem like maybe the League Wilds is catching up to and figuring out a bit the Ravens' offensive approach. Oh! Oh, yeah. you know who this spells good news for your old buddy Kevin Wilds Patriots Ravens and we're back there's 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 oh, falling apart oh, in geez. Baltimore and Brandon you're like river 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 lake 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 and all I didn't really know it, it all had to be aquatic <laughs> bodies of water I, I didn't know that like pond 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 like oh yeah. they installed <laughs> reservoir uh, look, I think this is great for the Patriots. <laughs> Obviously, Bill Belichick's going to know what you guys are up to. And, so, and, and Lamar was kind of taking like a shot at Greg Roman. But when, when, when Lamar is doing these interviews, it's not, it, it doesn't feel like he's actually trying to take shots at anyone. When you listen to the interview, he's like just telling the truth. And if the truth so Correct. happens to take a shot at you, well, like... Okay, well, that's just the way it is. He's like, it's a, it's the play calling. It's not me. So I feel I feel yeah. even more buoyed. Another aquatic reference, Brandon, for the Patriots' <laughs> chances against Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people think that we go into the building every single day and all we're doing is running routes, throwing the football, tackling guys. But we spend more of our time breaking down film and looking for those tendencies. I'll give you guys a few examples. When I was playing for the Jets, yes. going against, obviously, the Patriots twice a year, they knew exactly uh, who I was to the T on the field. They knew if I had my right foot up, what I would do. Left foot up on the right side. I couldn't get off the line in scrimmage against Logan Ryan. In the second quarter, I finally saw this guy looking at my feet, and then I start shuffling my feet back and forth, and he started giving McCourty different hand signals. So I went back to film. I said, <laughs> what am I doing that, 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 is, that, that they have down? And then I realized that I had a tendency, and I fixed that. Then I scorched them the next game. I go back to my time in Chicago. 
Brian Urlacher, Peanut Tillman, uh, Lance Armstrong, Julius Peppers, uh, Izzy Adonage, all these guys will be on the sideline playing against Aaron Rodgers, and I tell this story all the time, but Brian Urlacher would say, guys, this play, this series, Pepsi is up. What he, what he was saying was, I'm going to call Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. We're going to go into cover two. Aaron is going to see cover two. The next drive, Pepsi is down. So I'm going to say, Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. We're going to cover three. It's a disguise. This is all chess. Right. This is not an uncommon thing. It's about teams adjusting. You go to the Patriots and Bill Belichick, Nick, That's he's always adjusting, always Ooh, evolving. Feeling good. So, so cu a couple quick points. One is my guy Brandon Marshall, I believe, meant Lance Briggs, but it is possible seven-time Tour de France champion Lance Armstrong has been safety <laughs> Who did for the I say? Bears. Who did but I, I say? You, you said I Lance Armstrong. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Different famous Lance, but you meant Lance Briggs. I he knew was exactly our kicker. who you meant. He was our kicker. That's why he was the kicker. All right, that's first point. Second point is in defense of Lamar. When Lamar had the four turnovers against the Steelers, it was a very matter-of-fact press conference like this one, to Wilds' point, yeah. which is, listen, I turned the ball over in the red zone, I turned the ball over in the red zone again, I threw a pick. He does really just say what's on his mind, so I don't think this was almost the Aaron Rodgers-esque, not taking a shot at Aaron, where there is a backstory to all his comments. I think he's right. just saying what's on his mind. And lastly, Kevin Wilds, you remember when Zach Grinke told the opposing batter what pitch was coming and they hit hit the home run? Yes. The Baltimore Ravens could tell the Patriots before every play what they're doing <laughs> and yes, the Patriots aren't going to be able to stop it this weekend. Sorry to tell you, as much as good news as it sounds like, it ain't that good of news, actually. Uh, all right, guys, speaking of press conferences where people just say what's on their mind regardless of the words that may oh, affect my. other people.